Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mark LeMay and welcome to this week's edition of The Wellness Connection. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And if you're already a part of our subscription, thanks for being here. So today I'm gonna to talk about some digestive issues that affect pretty much everybody today. I want you to think of this as like, you know, like your digestive system. It's like a big long tube that goes from your mouth all the way down to your butt. <laughs> so it's approximately 40 to feet long. And the first part of it is basically your digestion. It helps to break down the foods. And then it goes down to the second portion of your body, which helps to absorb it. And then the last portion of it is where you have what's called your gut or your microbiome. That's something like mostly in the large intestine. And I want you to think of your large intestine as kind of like a garden, okay? Now, think of this garden, because I mean, if, if you ever had a garden before, it's like you have this big, beautiful garden. And when you first started out, I mean, this thing was gorgeous. I mean, you had tomatoes growing in there. You had apple trees. I mean, when I was growing up, we had apple trees where I was, and it was just so great to have these different apple trees because they were fun to eat. And then you also have flowers. I mean, you've got all kinds of things. I mean, everybody in the neighborhood loves your garden. They think it's the most amazing garden they've ever seen. And then, of course, one day, you know, there's a big windstorm, you know, and it kind of blows some things down. I mean, the trees kind of are a little out of kilter, but you got to kind of, you know, rewrite them up like that. And, you know, the tomato plants need to be kind of picked up a little bit and put back on their stakes and, you know, all the different things like that. And it's pretty close the way it was before, but not quite the way it was, but still really good. You got a good garden going. Uh, and then you have another big, huge storm, but this time it hails. I mean, you get like, I'm not talking like the big, huge ones, but I'm talking like golf ball, golf ball size hail. Last year we had this happen to us. We got this beautiful plum tree in our front yard and it was just in blossoming in the, in the springtime. And then we got hail right away and it just stripped that poor tree down to nothing. So we didn't get any plums that year, but still your garden's still doing okay. You kind of clean up as best as you can. You start to you know, replant some things if you can, and, you know, you're just trying to get that garden going again. And then guess what happens? Somebody in your family gets sick. I mean, like really sick. And so you have to go take care of them and there's nobody there to water the garden, to fertilize the garden, to tend to that garden. And, you know, when we, we leave and we don't really take care of our garden, what happens to the garden? Yeah, you guessed it weeds and again depending on how long you're gone for i mean the weeds can get really i mean you come back after this person that you've been taking care of in your family's illness and you look out there and you can't even recognize your garden i mean there's weeds growing up you know five six feet tall i mean you can see the apple trees but that's about it i mean your tomatoes are long gone the vegetables you know they're gone because rabbits and everything ate those a long time ago too but again it's just it's not the same garden you had before and that's kind of what happens with our guts too, down in our you know large intestines. If you don't take care of it, and all these different things happen to it, it messes up your microbiome, and that's what they call dysbiosis. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what I do with my patients to kind of fix their garden. So what I did is I, I drew a garden up here, and it's got 16 different plots on it. So okay. Before, you know, remember we had those beautiful trees here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to draw this out a little bit for you. So let's say we had our nice tree over here. You know, I got a nice big apple tree right here. You know, and of course, where's my red? Hang on a sec here, cause you know, we had beautiful fireside apples. You know, so we had these really nice fireside apples here on the tree. And then over here, you know, you've got your flowers over here. That's supposed to be a flower, <laughs> okay? You know, and then you've got tomato plants over here. You remember we talking about those tomato plants over here? You got your different tomato plants, and you know, it's like you got a whole bunch of different tomato plants over. Here. And again, like I said, I'm not a drawer, so forgive me on that one. But what I like to do with my patients is when they have dysbiosis in their garden, which is your large intestine, we do a program that really just kind of helps to get the guard back to normal again because I mean if it's just been overgrown with weeds you really have to go in there and change the terrain of that garden because weeds are tough I mean they can send runners down a long ways and so you have to rototill them so let's say we're going to go in there and we're going to rototill this garden so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in there 
I'm just gonna take this little plot right down here. We're gonna get into those weeds and we're gonna rototill this area really good. For like five days, we're gonna rototill. So we're doing this plot over here, rototilling, getting all those weeds turned over, stuff like that. And then, you know, hey, you know what? We actually had a really good day like it is today, nice and sunny, so we were able to go in, get another one. So we went over and got another plot over here. We did that along with this one. So in five days, we were able to basically rototill for five days. Okay. So after rototilling, you just can't leave it there. You gotta, you gotta do more than that. You gotta, again, you gotta change the pH. So we're gonna do some fertilizing. Now, and I'm not talking like, like Roundup, you know, glyphosate. We're not gonna throw bad stuff in there. We wanna do something really good. We're gonna take some moss and we're gonna get the worms in there. We're gonna, we're gonna do all the things that gardeners know work to fertilize that area so we can get some good plants growing in there again, not weeds. So then we're gonna go in there and we're gonna fertilize this whole area here. And of course this one over here too, we're gonna to fertilize this whole area here too. So we're gonna do another five days of fertilizing. Okay, so, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that area sit and we're gonna let's see how much of the good things we can get back growing on there. Can we get some tomatoes or some flowers or some trees growing on that area again? Now. You know, it's it takes time to do these things. So what we'll do next is we'll go, okay, let's go to the next area here because we gotta get rid of, because this whole area over here, it's still overrun with weeds. So we only did this one little area here and that took 10 days. So let's go to the next plot and take care of that. So now we're gonna go back here again and rototill this whole section out here because man, this, this place is a mess and it took a long time for it to get this way so it's gonna take us time to get it back to normal again. So, cause I mean, it's like, hey, if we were gone for three months, six months, a year tending to that person that was really ill, it's probably gonna take that long to get it back to normal again too. So, okay, so we do five more days. Wow, that is really bad day. <laughs> Let's go back and write five days. And then we're gonna, of course, go over here. We're gonna do some Fertilizing, that's the best part right here because we want good bacteria growing back in here again. Now again, this is gonna take five days. Now this time it's like, it took a little bit more time to do this because it wasn't such a good day. So it took us a little bit more time to be able to do this. So we did five days here of rototilling and then we do five days here of fertilizing. Now again, this was just, I mean, we got three plots done here Maybe, you know, we might only get one done in 10 days. I don't know. Everybody's a little bit different. So when you're doing this whole process here, it just takes time. How long? I don't know. But again, for most of my people, I say, if you could just hang in there and just be really aggressive and do this over and over and over again, you're going to get your garden back. Now, again, this part of your garden right here might be the part that you're having symptoms of with like sugar cravings, maybe having sugar cravings. And then you took care of this part of the garden and the sugar cravings are gone. And then this little plot right here, this had to do with constipation. Now that you took care of that, now the constipation is gone. And then all these other symptoms might go away too. But again, time, it takes time to do that. So what I tell my patients is, and especially right now, this is really relevant because right now we're going through some viruses right now, uh, especially the coronavirus. And guess what? that affects your immune system, but guess where most of your immune system is? Like 70% of your immune system is right here. It's in your gut. So is it important to have a good microbiome? Yes, very important. <laughs> so if you want to really get a handle on your immune system, you wanna take care of your gut. And it's really important because again, this is something that is affecting everybody. So if you want to fix this kind of a problem, we can help or find a professional that can really help you in your area to take care of this. Now, just so you know, I take care of patients here locally, across Northern California, and across the US. So if you need somebody to help you out here, be happy to do that. Just give our office a call. So I hope you found this whole description right here helpful for you. And if you did, please like, and then again, share this information with somebody you know because there's a lot of people out here who have 
constipation, diarrhea, you know, gas, uh, stomach pains. These are all things that are happening in their body, but they just don't know why that's occurring. So please share this video with them. And again, as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're putting out this kind of content every single week. Well, I hope you like this edition of the Wellness Connection. I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Thanks for watching.